Time for another uh, instructional. Out here is Zach Parisi from the Minnesota Wild and specialty skating instructor Diane Ness. We're talking overspeed today, and for a lot of us out there, we don't know what overspeed is. Take us through it. Overspeed are drills that move at an extremely high pace. They have a foot speed that's out of control. The, um, the pace is set from the very beginning of the drill. So you start from a quick start, take quick corners, quick transition. Everything is at an uncomfortable pace. And Zach, you're known as one of the best skaters in the league. And still at this level of your career, this is something you can point to to even go to a next level. I think, I think there's always different areas each summer, um, even doesn't matter how long there's you play. Something. There's always something that you, you feel like during the season. I know Diane and I have talked during the season. I'll text her in February and be like, we got to do this this summer. And I know that she's taking notes watching me saying, Zach, we need to work on this this summer. So we, we talk and we come up with ideas. And this was this summer's. But I can't stress enough, you can't do overspeed unless your foundation is good first. Zach's foundation is so strong that it's, for him, it's an absolute must. It just takes him to a higher level. Let's see what you got. OK, we're going to do a small peanut. All right. So this is the small peanut. This is a small peanut, and notice he's starting from a quick start. Now he's got a quick transition turns, and crossovers are very moving out of control there, <laughs> and alternating his crossovers heading down. So how about at the end of the drill there? You know, we, we see the, what the peanut is. You're, you're forming a peanut by going top right. of the circle and top of the circle. And what is the end of the drill for? So when we come out of that peanut, I have him doing alternating front crossovers. So when you're getting through neutral zone, it's, a, it's so hard to get through neutral zone right now. So he wants to be, um, he, he wants to go one direction, then the other direction. And with speed, moving your feet at an uncomfortable pace. Drill like this, Zach, take us through a particular shift where some of the skills you just worked on here will pay off for you this year. Well, I think like she said through the neutral zone, right now it's so hard with the way teams are playing one two twos or, sorry, I catch my breath here, and or one one threes through the neutral It's hard to get through, there's no space. And so I found, and I've been trying to get a little more dynamic through there, trying to get some crossovers, trying to get the D to move Not to the middle. Not just straight ahead. Exactly. You're trying to create space and trying to move at an angle where you can kind of open up the rink just a little bit because there's big bodies out there waiting for you. And for young kids that are watching the, the peanut portion of the drill, right. Diane, what are some techniques that they need to bring to the table? The, the knee bend around that high speed corner, the, in particular the last corner, right. you have to have a low knee bend. Your tendency is going to want to be to pull up to the heel and to come up. You want to stay down low and then you want to just explode out of the corner. Yeah, a little conditioning in it too. I can see that, no <laughs> doubt about it. It's overspeed, it's the small peanut. Diane Ness and Zach Parisi.